Hello, I'm Mrs Hackney and I'm the Assistant Head for Teaching and Learning here at Bridgington School. Now, since March, we've all had to adapt to a new way of learning. Parents and carers, teachers and pastoral managers and students have all had to learn how to do things very much differently. Learning has to take place not just in school, but at home too. We all want the best possible outcomes for our Bridgington School family. And one of the positives to come out of the situation we found ourselves in is the much closer learning partnership that has emerged between home, um, parents and carers, school, both teachers and pastoral managers, and students. Now, um, as part of my job, I've talked to a lot of parents, a lot of teachers here in school, and a lot of you students about home learning and about some of the issues you're facing. So I'd just like to talk through a few simple ideas, how you can make um, home learning work better for you and make it more successful. Now, when you're at home, you um, might experience lots of different feelings. You might feel literally that your head is going to explode with all the information or the tasks that you've been given. Um, you might possibly feel that you don't have enough time to complete all the tasks or you might feel you've got too much time on your hands. You might feel literally like there is a tidal wave of stuff approaching you um, and you don't know what to do about it. You might feel totally overwhelmed. You might just want to sit on your settee all day. Um, you might feel that all the work that you have done so far is pointless and that doing any more work is pointless. Or you might start to feel a little bit lonely, a little bit isolated at home. So I just want to talk you through a few simple ideas to cope with some of these feelings. Now, when you're in school, every minute of every day is organised and planned for you. You're told what to do and when to do it. And I'm sure most of you have complained about that at some time. But now that's all been taken away and you're at home with the day stretching in front of you, it can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming and a little bit confusing and you might not know where to start with your learning. So you need to do a little bit of organisation and planning. That so that you don't start to panic and start um, so that you can start to take one step at a time rather than feeling overwhelmed by everything that you've got to do. Now, uh, learning at Bridlington School is very much on demand because we understand that everybody has got different commitments to juggle at home and that everybody learns differently. But it is really important that you get up in the morning and um, particularly Monday to Friday, you do have a learning routine rather than just sort of wandering through the day. Um, so just on a scrap piece of paper like i've done here it would be really helpful if you downloaded um, from show my homework or class charts your um task for the week um and then sketched a simple plan of how you could approach your learning you can see here that i've suggested you could maybe learn between 9 and 11 1 and 3 and 4 and 5 with breaks in between it might be that you learn better in the morning. I've spoken to quite a few parents who say their students um, like to get up early and maybe learn eight till 10. It's totally up to you, but make sure that you have got a routine established um, and that you have planned out your days. You can then tick off the task as they're completed and then that helps to sort of get away from that feeling of being overwhelmed and that feeling of panic. <coughs> the second thing that you can do is have a conversation now when you're in school your whole day revolves around conversations you talk to each other you talk to other teachers um, you talk all the time and then you've gone to sitting at home sometimes on your own and it's easy to feel a little bit isolated or a little bit unsupported so start a conversation and by conversation i don't mean sending a text or um, talking to somebody online talk to somebody in your house um, or you could even ring somebody and have um, an actual conversation with somebody. It would be really great if you had a learning conversation, but any conversation will do. But I've popped some ideas up here 
um, about you talking to other people in your house, parents, carers, brothers, sisters, um, just about anything, just to um, get that support and to make you feel that somebody is listening to you and is interested in what you have to say. Um, can I talk to you about physics? Um, ask somebody if they listen to you explaining something. It often helps if you um, explain something out loud to somebody. You've all been given a school reading book. Um, ask if you can read to somebody. Or obviously you can read, read to yourself, which I'll come on to in the next slide. But reading out loud um, is often beneficial for everybody. Um, being able to um, develop an argument or to, to sustain your opinion is a really, really valuable skill. And um, entering into a debate with somebody is, is really useful. It can be a debate about anything. Do you prefer crisps or chocolate? Um, it could be something on the news. Ask somebody their opinion on it. But get a debate going. And that's a really, really useful way of starting a conversation with somebody rather than sitting there feeling lonely and isolated. Next um, is limiting screen time. Now, technology is inevitable. I know most of you spend your entire life attached to a phone, a tablet, a laptop, a computer, um, any one of the wide range of devices you all have access to. But for your own, both mental and physical health, you need to really think about limiting that screen time. Um, I know that we are sending um, your home learning through technology because it's, the, it's our only option, um, but try and use a variety of resources and activities as well. So try using an old fashioned pen and paper um, rather than um, using um, a laptop to perhaps type a response. Um, I'm going to go back to reading books. You've all got a reading book. There are also um, books you can listen to um, online. Um, you can switch, switch the screen off and just listen online. Um, textbooks, um, have a go at drawing. It doesn't matter if you're not Picasso or Van Gogh. Um, just for your own, um, own creativity, have a go at, at drawing something. Maybe draw your feelings, maybe um, draw your day. Um, have a go at doing something different anything creative, um, read a newspaper. Exercise is really important. Obviously, you have got to exercise within the COVID safe guidelines. You can't go out and meet crowds of friends. At the moment, you can meet one person outside, but you could go for a walk on your own. And you can also exercise in the house. Um, I've been looking at um, lots of YouTube videos. I've been doing some yoga on YouTube. There are a wide variety of exercise um, tutorials that you can do on uh, YouTube. I believe Joe Wicks is also coming back next week. Um, so it's really important that you keep up with that exercise and get yourself away from the screen. Something else that you could maybe think about is writing a diary. It's a way of expressing your, um, your private thoughts and feelings um, and a way of sort of keeping a record of what's, what's happening to you. So really try and not spend 24-7 uh, attached to um, a technological advice, uh, device. Really try and get uh, limit that time on screen. Finally, please ask for help. All these thoughts and feelings um, that you might be experiencing, you're not on your own. We're still here to support you. Um, your teachers and everybody in school, your parents and carers, your pastoral managers are all still here. So please don't sit at home feeling overwhelmed, confused, um, that, or that everything is pointless, or that, you're, uh, that you feel lonely, please get in touch and ask for help. Remember, um, we're all part of the Bridlington School family and successful learning is very much a partnership. So please ask for help. Talk to your parents, talk to school, talk to your friends, um, pick up the telephone and have an actual conversation with them. Um, but please don't feel isolated because you're not. We are still here to support you. So just to summarise, four ideas for um, successful home learning. Really plan and organise your time and your tasks. Talk to people. Start a conversation. A learning conversation would be great. 
try and limit your screen time by doing other activities and taking time away from computers, phones um, and other devices and ask for help 